Hey boss. Yeah, machine's doing that thing again where it won't turn on. Yeah, I've tried the turn on, turn off method, done it five times. Yeah, uh, really? The heat gun in the back? I have to open the door, and it's cold, and it's dark. Okay, if it'll get it going. How much downtime can you afford? Are you a machinist, machine shop owner, or manager who has to have these parts out by tomorrow? You cannot afford to have this machine down. It must be up and running. I get these calls all the time. This is an emergency. Our machine is down. And if I'm feeling nice, I usually say, sure thing, boss. Let me put off everybody who's also down who's ahead of you while I come over and fix your old piece of that I told you to throw away last time I fixed it. So maybe you ought to get a new machine. Ethan, can we just edit that out? Actually, I, I don't mean that and I never would. Anyhow, if you're so busy that you cannot afford to have a machine down, maybe it's time to get a second machine. But that's easier said than done. And what I see over and over again is, we got a second machine, we maxed them both out. Now we really cannot afford to have one or two down. End of the world. So that doesn't do you any good either. But something you can think about, and here's why I made this video. If you have a vendor who can maybe cover for you when your machine is down. If you have another machine that you can put on hold and put that operation in. And the last one, what I'm all about, is maintenance and repair. Most of the time, the problems that I go work on, flat out, the machine is dead. Nobody calls me for a few for intermittent problems, but everybody calls me when it's down. If it only breaks once a day, what the heck? So, if your machine is acting up, get it fixed. Or maybe have some maintenance done on it and have them make a list of what is likely to fail, or what is failing and what do we need to replace. What if you're getting no lube to your spindle and then your spindle is going to be out? or all your wipers or your weight covers are ripped off and you're just pouring coolant on the screw and chips. So little things like that that can help you prepare for downtime. What does downtime cost? I'm not a machine shop, but I know what I cost and I know what people are willing to pay when they're down. If your machine is down for a day and a half, you have to order parts overnight, you have people standing around, that's expensive. So if there's some things that you can have on hand, if there's pre-work scheduled downtime and maintenance, that'll help you meet those deadlines so you're not calling somebody just going off the handle. It doesn't happen all the time, but except for every Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. So thanks for watching the video. If you're still interested, I have a whole other video about parts I would keep on hand for these machines behind me. This video isn't too much about selling parts, it's more about just making aware that things break and it might be a good idea to have some things on hand for your machine. So thanks for watching and check out the rest of our videos and our website CNC Replacement Parts. Take it easy. But the problem with that is it's just not as easy as done as it is said. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. One.